So C-peptide is a pro-insulin hormone. Pro-insulin in this case is not like professional or pro like it's for it. Pro-insulin means it's a prototype. It's like a precursor. The C-peptide, when your pancreas makes insulin, or every insulin it makes, it makes a C-peptide. So it's a good measurement of pancreatic function to see your pancreas ability to make insulin. In someone who has, say, type 1 diabetes, where the pancreas is, the organ is failed, is not able to make insulin, you'll see that this person will have very high glucose level because they have no insulin to get the sugar out of the blood. But yet they'll have very low C-peptide, almost non-existent, like zero point something. That will indicate if you have high blood sugar with very low C-peptide, that means your pancreas is failed and is not able to make insulin. That's why you have the high blood sugar. Now in someone with normal blood sugar or even low blood sugar, but very low C-peptide, that doesn't mean the pancreas has failed. It just means that you're not making very much insulin because you're on a low carb diet. You're doing keto. Then it's normal to have very low C-peptide.